Life does not give us objectives. We give life a purpose. And the blade is half human and half vampire. His life purpose is to kill vampires. He wants to kill them all. The Blade came out in 1998 and that was not a good period for comic book movies. Even Batman movies were not that good at that time. So no one thought that an R-rated black superhero will revive the superhero genre. You know how risky this project was at that time, an R-rated black superhero? At present it's different. Right now superhero movies are going through a boom period. But back then, society was not that progressive. At that time, Marvel comes up with an R-rated movie about a character very few people knew about. Blade arrives and becomes a big hit and earns a lot of money and still it's the most underrated Marvel movie. Every time I think about Blade, I feel sad. It feels like Blade never got the appreciation it deserved. The Blade has a concept of the chosen one. When his mother was pregnant, she was bitten by a vampire. As a result, Blade is born as a half-human and half-vampire. It's not like that he wanted to be a vampire, but he is, because he is the chosen one. He is destined for it. Blade tells us that you better wake up. The world you live in is just a sugar-coated topping. There is another world beneath it, the real world. Tell me this is not reminding you of Matrix. However, Matrix came in 1999. Blade brought the fashion of black coats and black shades, and people remember this fashion because of the Matrix. The bullet time technique was first used in the Blade and later in the Matrix. It's just that the term bullet time is registered trademark of Warner Brothers, formally established in March 2005 in connection with the video game The Matrix Online. I'm not questioning the credibility of Matrix. I just want people to recognize and appreciate Blade too. And Black Panther wasn't the first black superhero. And my purpose in making this video is to let you know why the Blade is so awesome. There are so many good things about the Blade that even after the decades, we are still talking about it and you and viewers like you are still watching YouTube videos about the Blade. Don't you think it says something? So in this video, we will be discussing everything that makes Blade so awesome. This film takes us on this beautiful and emotional journey of our protagonist. As I've already told you, the Blade's mother was bitten by a vampire when she was pregnant and that's why the Blade is part human and part vampire. His mom died while giving birth to him and it became Blade's life mission to find that vampire and kill him, only to realize later that his mom is alive and she became a vampire too and wants to kill him. Just think for a second how heartbreaking it is for a guy whose mother wants to kill him. And then Blade has to kill his mother because if he hesitates, his mother and her boyfriend Deacon Frost will kill him and later these vampires will destroy humanity. See what an emotional journey he's going through and not only his mother but his mentor Whistler also dies. Whistler adopted the Blade when the Blade was only 13. They have this bond. It, it was a very emotional scene when Whistler dies. Not only it's an emotional hero's journey. Blade's character arc is also extremely well written. Because we are talking about the hero, I want to add something. It's Weasley Snipes, who played the character of the Blade. Or you can say, he is the Blade. Weasley has a 5th grade black belt in Shotokan Karate and 2nd grade black belt in Hapkido. He is also trained in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Kickboxing. And you can see that in action scenes. The way he holds the sword and all that. He was great in Blade. He was excellent. Recently, we have seen so many Marvel and Sony projects which required R ratings to reach their full potential, but they were PG-13. Projects like Moon Knight, Venom and Morbius. I am not saying that every film or show needs to be R rated. However, some characters demand an R rating and Blade is one of them. The most important reason why the Blade is so awesome is that Marvel did not try to tone down the violence in this film. The opening blood by bar sequence is very violent. In which Blade is introduced to us, he kills vampires very violently. This scene is the most bloody and gory intro of any superhero movie in the history of cinema. There is blood flowing everywhere, body parts are sliced and chopped like vegetables. Not only blood and gore, overall action in this film is top notch. There is a sense of tension and fear in action scenes, for an example the train sequence, where I know these are vampires and they will not die if they got hit by a train, their bodies will regenerate. But there are two human characters, Dr. Karen and Whistler, and they are human, so they will die if they got hit. So this kind of thing makes the action more intense and interesting, and the action choreography is also very dope. The only problem in some scenes, especially in the third act, where the blood feels very artificial. CGI and FX felt very weak. To be honest, now it feels very cartoonish. 
The superhero genre is famous for high octane action scenes, but if we get good action with good story with different themes and undertones, it's a blessing. The Blade has a theme of racism, where some vampires call themselves pure vampires because they were born as a vampire and they discriminate against those vampires who became a vampire after getting bitten by a vampire. You can also see the undertone of another theme of religious fanatics in the Deacon Frost character and of course the obvious theme of power. This film has a great action, story and performances. It has everything that you expect from an R-rated superhero movie and this is why Blade is awesome and I love it. I've got itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly, thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't